Good afternoon, Will England here with the Sprint Product Ambassadors. Today we're taking a look at a brand new phone from Motorola, the Moto E5 Plus. The Plus gives you a little bit of extra screen size and extra memory. It's kind of a nice phone. Motorola's been making a reputation for developing some fine phones at low prices that you can pay cash for or finance or lease for very little money. Today we're going to open the box and see what all we can find. An unboxing, if you will. Comes in a nice bright orange package, much better than the usual black you see. You fold it open, and bam, there's your phone, Moto E5 Plus. One of the big selling points on this phone is the 5,000 milliamp hour battery. Typically, you buy extra batteries that you plug in that have 5,000 milliamp batteries and turbo power so it can charge very rapidly using the included charger. 18 by 9 widescreen display, 12 megapixel camera, reflective wave design, which I presume they mean this fingerprint prone back case. I'm not quite sure. It does have a built in fingerprint reader. Oh, uh, quite possibly. We'll figure out where that is later. And the Moto Experiences, which is your familiar chop to turn on the flashlight and things like that. They've reached down to the E-Series, coming down from the fancier Z-Series. Now, additionally in the box, pretty straightforward. You open it up, you have your SIM removal tool, your health and safety information, the Moto Charger, which you can see is a turbo power charger and they don't oh lovely see if we can get a close enough zoom on that to actually read when you have trifocals and you're 45 it's sometimes hard to tell what's out at there we go, 5 volts at 3 amps, 9 volts at 1.6, or a 12 volt at 1.2 amps. So yeah, that's that's quite the turbocharger. That will refill a phone quite quickly. Additionally, it comes with a handy cable, as if we don't have enough of those already. But it's always good to have an extra cable, especially if it's your first phone. The Moto E5 will make a great first phone for anyone. One end of it is your standard USB, the other end is a micro USB. It is not a USB-C port, so you can use all of your legacy USB-B or micro-B ports. Taking a quick look around the phone, on the bottom of the device, you have a USB port, a microphone. On the left side, you have the dot to pop out your SIM card and hopefully a memory card. On the top, a 3.5mm headphone jack. The rest of the buttons are on the right hand side, obviously designed for right handers, power, and volume. On the back, you have a flash and it appears to be dual cameras. We'll find out more as we activate this. Beyond that, that's what comes in the box with the Moto 5. E5 Plus. Looks like a fantastic phone. Claims to get a 60-hour battery life. We'll see how all that works. This is Will England with the Sprint Product Ambassador signing off. And remember, I'm not compensated for doing this. I just do it because I like to have fun with phones.